This is the uh, gas control valve for the water heater. Uh, basically, this is kind of the brains of the whole water heater. Uh, the electronics are contained within this unit. And the only thing that somebody's really going to ever do with this is this is where the temperature adjustment dial is located. Um, this is something that the homeowner may want to know where it's at in case they did want to change the temperature a little bit. And also the main on-off switch for the unit itself is also located here. So the temperature switch, this controls how hot the water inside the tank gets, right? That's correct. So logically, if, if, uh, if you decided you want, wanted your water hotter in the house, like for showers, for instance, if you have a teenage daughter like I do, um, and they complain that the water's not sort of warm enough, I mean, one of the things you can do is come down here and turn it up, right? Yes, you could. Um, the biggest thing, though, is that if you ever do decide to turn your water heater up, uh, our technicians, after they install these units, set it at the hot setting, which is a recommended setting. Um, we're actually not really allowed to set this over that setting because that's about 120 degree water, which is considered uh, hot. Uh, if you turn the unit up, you want to turn up in very small increments because the water it, it can be a very big hazard if it becomes a scalding, you know, to a scalding temperature. Sure. And the other thing, obviously, that people don't think about is that. This hot water heater works all day. When you're at work, I mean, it's heating water. So if you're at work and you got it turned way up, it heats the water, it cools down, heats the water, cools down, heats the water, cools down, right? That's correct. So it sounds like a lot of money for, for nothing, really. That's exactly correct. Everybody's concerned about, you know, conserving energy and, you know, utility costs and everything like that. If you, the hotter you have this water heater, the more energy it's going to burn, the more it's going to cost you to run. Good. So what's, uh, what's behind this, this uh, little gate over here? Right there is an access door to where the main burner assembly is and we're also where the pilot and the hot surface ignition assembly is. Um, you're never really going to get into that except for a service tech would be entering in through there. But there is an observation window in case you had doubts that it was actually burning. You could look through that window to see that there is a flame present. So the window, the window is really this little window right here, right? And you can see actual you know, blue-orange flame in there. That's correct. So, I mean, just from, uh, from a maintenance standpoint, your hot water heater goes out. What are the things you're going to want to check right away? Well, basically, you want to, want to make sure that you have power going to the unit. That's the first thing you want to do. The unit's plugged in. This particular unit's plugged in above that. Uh, it's plugged into a GFCI receptacle, so there is a switch there that you can check. Um, if you confirm that you do have power to the unit, basically, you make sure your gas valve is turned on. Like, uh, you can have uh, like kids turn it off by accident or something like that. And that uh, this switch is turned into on position. And um, that's about it. And if all that stuff is confirmed, you still have no hot water. There is a little green LED light here, which is called the status light. And that status light can give you an idea of what's going on with the unit if there is a problem. Good. So, um, you know, really, people lose hot water pretty often, but probably one of the most common occurrences on a machine like this when it's new is, is, is obviously either just there's a hiccup in the gas to the unit or, or the power goes out. Um, what, what could cause, what are some of the things that cause the, the pilot light as we know it to go out? Well, one thing that could happen is that these units are now equipped with what they call a vapor sensor. And a vapor sensor is a device, it's this round disc right here that would sense if someone were to store flammable vapors in the area of the water here, that disc will sense those vapors and will not allow the unit to run in a safety feature.